Hi Cancer, welcome. Golden Empress Collection here and we are going to be talking about love, money, career for June. Of course, whenever you guys find this, that's when it's meant for you. It's timeless. All right. So take what resonates and leave the rest, please. Love, money, career. If you haven't already, make sure you check the description box. A bunch of links on how to contact me. If you would like a private reading. Spiritual supplies. Love Money Career, and the link to my other channel called Guardian Angel Messages. Thank you, Cancer, for being so flippin' beautiful and unbothered. I really like that about your love life here. Um, you guys, yeah, you could be married or whatever this is. You are pushing into a relationship. Um... The Hierophant energy talks about how to do things the right way, knowing self-value, right? Maybe there's something that you do. You might be a working mommy here. Could be another thing. That's what I'm feeling, a working mommy. What is it with the emotion, though? I just saw a really bunch of beautiful cards here. You've got good things happening in love. Cancer. Mm, you have good things happening in love. Because you're protected from people that would try to harm you. People that would try to lie to you. Right? Here's the other thing. You, like I told you, you are unbothered. Even though these people are being deceptive and lying. You're not worried about it. You've had other people break your heart. Right? And so you just ended it. You were like, nah, I'm not going to deal with this. Some of you guys, I need you to be very, very careful. All right? Depending on who it is that you're dealing with. Especially if it's a business of some sort. Um, somebody could have lost somebody to a heart attack and someone is lying about how something came about. With this lover's card, there's a union, right? But I feel like it's more than just the bond between two people. It's the duality of the situation. Okay, here's the deal. Some of you guys, like I said, you're unbothered. If you have chosen to take a lover um, and you, someone is really trying hard to make sure that the other person does not find out about it. You could have cancer. You could have had a Taurus energy lying to you consistently. And so it made you angry. But you have to remember, that was a choice that you made is also another thing that I'm picking up on here, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that. So what that says to me, interesting, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer. Oh, I see. All right. So you guys are one of the, you need to go back and watch Friday Night Love Tarot. You are one of the people who was trying to figure out the value of your relationship here, right? There could have been some secrets that were exposed. People, someone tried to get away with something, but they couldn't because you could feel it. Um, you sat someone down. You had this conversation with this particular person. Some of you guys, again, I'm thinking about the value that you are putting into something here. When it comes to your love life, I'm going to go ahead and kind of move on into your career because your love life and your career are all tied together. They are. People that you care about. It's people that you care about that are actually harming you. We have the emperor and the empress here. And the world card. <sighs> unbothered but guess what you, you there's definitely an affair here mm -hmm. and someone got busted and because this person is now in the doghouse someone is in the doghouse they are really going through it okay someone got busted trying to keep some sort of secret here all right there is also someone here you know, cancer, and I'm not sure how, if this is you or if this is your other person, 
But because of the fact that you are so unbothered, this person does magic against you to try to get you to go through cycles that harm you, you know. The other thing is, is that you have consistently come up against other people. Some of you, Cancer, you don't give back. You don't pay it forward. And for the rest of you, you do. The ones of you that don't pay it forward, I feel like that's all been written down, okay? And it was a choice to be deceptive. You know, like a very, you, you could be coming across a very deceptive masculine here that's trying to trap you, you know, in your emotions. And so that's why they say, please be careful. If you have a Piscean energy around you or a Sagittarius, um, they are paying attention to whoever it is that you are dealing with. Some of you guys might end up getting into some sort of conflict at work because there's someone who's mentally imbalanced and someone there and whoever it is that you work with is just not talking about it, but it's controlling. This person is controlling the whole group and trying to keep people from expressing themselves. And it's really, really toxic, you know, and people are backbiting. They're trying to harm somebody, you know, it could be an Aries energy here. Um, but like someone is trying, is trying to sabotage and get away with something, possibly at the job or in a love relationship here, you might be a third party witness to something. And like I said, you're trying to stay out of this, but I, I think it causes you a lot of stress to have to deal with this. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about your money. And then we'll put it all together and kind of do an overall here. Somebody's spying on your money. Okay. And I, I don't necessarily just, yeah, they're spying on your money. They, it could be like a bank hack is what I hear. Um, you guys have to be very, very careful lately, Queen of Pentacles energy with your finances. And the reason that I say that is because, you know, cybercrime is on the rise. Everything is done digitally now. So how do you think that these... Um, individuals who want to harm other people are getting at you. They're coming at you cyber, you know, and, and they're masters at it at that. You know, they possibly are attacking you through your job and then coming at you through your home. So just, just be careful, you know, anyone associated with a particular type of system, oh, it, they're going to get, you know, in trouble. I told you, someone's spying on your money. Someone's wanting to know what it is that you're doing. King of Pentacles here. And it's like, if you do have a little bit of money, let's see what happens with that. They don't mind, you know, harming someone because they say, okay, well, there's systems set in place where everybody will be able to um, do their job and help these people get their money back. But wait a minute, what? Where's the money going to come from? It's already been stolen. You know? So just, I, I just see possibly insurance policies going insane here in the next and you're going to hear it like people are filing insurance policies against against FDIC um because of all of the long-term damage that's being caused because of people stealing here okay might be your job to try and stop all of this you guys might be in some sort of security IT security protective energy this is how you make your living here mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody here is warning somebody of a cyber attack. That's what I see, the seven of wands, because here you are here. So if you offer up this message and you can bypass anyone that's trying to harm you and isn't worried about how you feel and you can get to the right person, right? Protect yourself. You will actually be able to help multiple people heal on a level like no other is what it pretty much feels like here. Some of you guys, this is a raise that's coming through, but for some reason, I it's just, you have to be very, very careful with who you choose to deal with. Protect yourself. Don't allow yourself um, to be in a situation where someone is lying to you or you're having to lie for somebody. I really don't like that. I don't know where that came from. I don't know if that's in love or that feels like it's in love, but if somebody wants you to lie for them, Cancer, you need to reject that immediately. That's someone that you should not be choosing. And it might even be a job that if this person puts you on the defense and, and tries to woo you and, and, you know, make you feel this way. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's the way that they communicate that causes you conflict. Oh, yeah. 
Like I said, you're unbothered, but you know that this person is going to pull out every trick in the book. You might be rejecting somebody sexually here too, right? You're going to have to put your boundaries up. And when this person comes and tries to offer you something, they're, they're just going to be frustrated by the fact that you feel the way that you do. Totally. Cancer. Some of you guys are, you sat back or you know something and you're, you're a little stressed out because you see a Taurus attacking the Sagittarius here, trying to cause conflict on purpose. Yeah, look, Ace of Swords. Whatever this person is doing, um, it's not going to work out well. There is a lot of conflict that goes behind this. And right now, it's like somebody could be guiding someone to take the right steps to protect themselves because of all of this heartbreak and deception. Somebody's giving misinformation here, too. There's gossip and conversation that's going on. Um, you, I think you might even have heard, overheard a conversation about what somebody's getting ready to plan to do. Ten of cups. Yeah. To be deceptive. Yep. And manipulative. You overheard a conversation. And so now you feel like it's your opportunity to make sure that this is dealt with in a very healing manner with the moon card. You feel it. This is you, right? See, this is all you and you are going to be designated as driver <laughs> to bring in happiness and bring in abundance. I like that about you because you actually get to protect somebody and tell somebody not to make a particular choice. Seven of Wands. I'm telling you, someone's snitching on somebody here with this clarity card. Okay. Somebody is snitching on somebody. And trying to get somebody to open their eyes a little bit so they can see how someone is trying to trap them. Mm -hmm. Might be, hey, just a little whisper as you're, you're getting your lunch out of the kitchen. Um, or it's something something that's different. It's, it's synchronicities and spiritual messages. Two of Cups. Yeah. Somebody knows somebody pretty well or they know both parties very well. They're not necessarily wanting to get in the middle of something, but somebody's going to say, a little birdie told me. And this little birdie telling somebody something um, is going to save either a Sagittarius, there's going to be an Aries, or a Gemini that is persistent. I even see someone going so far as to give misinformation to try to help someone set someone else up here. Um, and then you even have someone that would be saying, oh, I'll be willing to run your errands for you and, and drop paperwork off and stuff like that. Um, and, and you actually have like a, what do you call it? Um, kind of misfit, but it's like a goon, you know, when somebody has a goon that they employ to help them pull dirty tricks on somebody, there's somebody like that around here too. Might be a Gemini. The Gemini is coming off as very, very sneaky and would be willing to do things to keep people stuck. And you know what's crazy is the person that they're trying to keep stuck is actually very, very loving. And I feel like it's you. And you see this truth about what it is that they're doing with someone else. Some of you guys, you have to be very, very careful. And Cancer, maybe you had a private investigator or something like that. And this is just you knowing that you really didn't even need the private investigator you just went and saw it for yourself. They were always gone. And so then you would get up and you knew that there was a third party here. And it could have been another man is what I'm seeing. And it was the feminine that was keeping the secret in this relationship. But that's why they were always fighting. And that's why someone made the choice to do what was right for the ones that they love. Some, yeah, see, look, temperance energy. To do what is right for the ones that they love. To balance things out, to harmonize and to be harmonious, you know, to take care of the people um, that they are supposed to take care of. Yeah, if someone is attacking someone here, that's all bad. I feel like there's going to be angel after angel sent in here for cancer to take care, to help them take care of whatever situation this is. You cannot make it up. I told you, angel after angel coming in to help support, spending time telling these messages, saying things about the drama that's coming in within a relationship. Somebody knows the details too. Someone knows all the details, Cancer. All right. Or there's a spiritual message where 
you know, you have these heavenly angels coming in because of this conflict. There is someone trying to harm you. They said, protect yourself, protect your job. You know, we don't want your job rejecting you. You don't want to lose your job. You don't want a lover rejecting you here unless you need to be rejecting a lover that is not good for you. Somebody told somebody how to do something and it worked. And clarity came out here. Yep, hermit energy. I'm telling you, somebody went within and did the work. That's what's important here, Cancer. We're going within and doing the work. And when you do that, spirit shows you synchronicities, pays, you know, pays you visits, says, okay, we need to just do it this way now. And if you take control of whatever this is, you find yourself happy, you know, or freeing yourself from any sort of emotional conflict or bonds or binding crap that you were sitting in. If somebody was bound to something, mm -mm, spirit freed you from it. Somebody freed you from it. And I feel like if they freed you from it, you want to pay this person back now. Yeah, see? And you're still working on it. You see, you're still working on it. But you're going to pay them back and it's going to be lucrative. It's going to be something where they can invest and do something positive. Okay. Bimeo extended link is going to be below. Just know that Spirit, Archangel Michael, change is coming. Transition is coming. They definitely have your back. Okay. Lots of orange energy here. But enlightenment needed. Needing to speak your truth with all of the blue and the purple too. Okay. All right. Ground yourself. This is you. This is me. This is the love that I am sending to you. Guardian Angel message is also down there too. I'll see you guys around on Friday Night Love Tarot. Peace and love words.